Yo, 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 bros, and welcome to another video. And today, I'm coming at you with a new video here. This is my custom LEGO Blade Runner, the original 1982 version. Blade Runner Police Spinner slash Flying Car, whatever you want to call it. I also do have a custom Deckard figure here to show off. Quickly, I wanted to say I'm aware that I haven't made a video in a very long time. It's been over two weeks. I'm very sorry about that, but... School has been a serious pain in my you-know-what. I'm trying to keep it PG, and it's just really been annoying. But I did make this about a week ago, and I plan on making a video, and I never got around to making it. So, I'll do it. <coughs> so, first, I'll show off the Rick Deckard figure. This is the one from the original movie, not the one from the new movie, so he's not old here. So, this is a custom-made trench coat. Um... I'll actually show you a uh, part of me, a little clip of me actually making this trench coat um, in a second here. Uh, sorry, at the, probably at the end of the video. But yeah, so it's a custom made trench coat uh, out of paper. And then I uh, colored it brown because I didn't have any brown paper. Um, it looks pretty nice on him. And he's just got brown arms to cover that up. He's got a little sweater shirt here with a tie. Which makes sense because he's wearing and his hair <clears throat> matches pretty well it's an indiana jones face which also matches pretty well since this um it was the same actor and then that's just a brick arms magnum um i know brick arms actually does make a m2019 pistol which is the specifically from blade runner but I, I don't have one of those and i didn't feel like buying one just for this figure so he just has a normal pistol now, on to the car. One of the main things here, <coughs> move out of the way, is that, um, move cam a bit. This car does have some functionality, so it can roll. It has two wheels in the back here, which sort of just, you know, spin normally. Now, on the real one, it would have two wheels hiding behind these things right here, two big wheels, and when it would go on the ground, these things would rotate up, and then there would be wheels underneath. I did not have, you know, the time or pieces or really want to, to, you know, put that in there. But that is how the real one would be. But mine just still has one at the back. So yeah, you can, you know, roll it along and stuff. It's fun. It might scratch up, you know, whatever's down here a little bit, but it's not a big deal. And yeah, now we'll get into some of the design features. So first you can see, um, this was made entirely out of dark blue, uh, pieces of, uh, as the main color. It was made out of dark blue pieces instead of normal blue. I see a lot of people making these online and made them out of medium blue. And I originally tried to do my medium blue, but I was like, eh, this is a bit too light. So then I, but I, I never made it in dark blue because I didn't think I'd have the right pieces. Well, actually I do have, I did end up having enough of the right pieces to make this, so... I did, and um, yeah, so you can see here, um, up top there are the lights, two sets of these ones, and then one big or red one in the middle, there's also this small orange one which hangs off the side here, um, which has come up on these little gray bars that attach up here, uh, we got one of these big windshields here, uh, I wish, sorry, that's popping off there, I wish that this would have been the um, light gray uh, transparent gray, sorry, I was drawing a blank there, but I couldn't make that and have that piece. And then these are side windows on the doors here. The doors do hinge up, there is no interior. I may add one eventually, but as of right now, there's no interior. Um, but you can fit two figures in there as long as you take a trench coat off. Um, so yeah, they just hinge up on these basic hinges like this, just like in the movie. And then you can close them down. Now, to really get your figure in there, you would want to take your windshield off, and yeah, those do pop off a lot because they are at an angle there. But um, how you would get your figure in is you would actually take the windshield off, which comes off pretty easily, and then you put them in there like that. Um, getting into some of the front details, it's got the two things that cover up the wheels here, I think is very nice. Um, and it also has this uh, light that comes out in the front here. And see the light that comes out in the front here. 
Um, these right here are supposed to be chevron stripes, but I just didn't throw it in there. So it was this, but okay. Just didn't really feel like throwing it in there. I just got two wheels in the back there. Wheels in the back go round, round, round. Um, it's got the little uh, rear view mirrors here. And um, yeah, I think this is about this for the front. And then on the back, we have the two big red bar lights. Um, it's all slope. This uses an awful lot of snot uh, technique. This is probably the most complicated build internally I've ever done. There's a lot going on in here, like underneath this thing that you do not see. <laughs> and it's pretty ugly looking, um, but it works out. And then this big thing of chevron stripes on the back here, um, to show that it's a police, you know, move out of the way, bitch, it's a police car. Oh, okay, <laughs> probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Whatever. So, um, yeah. So yeah, I think, that just about does it for the mock. Um, I'm very, very proud of this. I made one of these about a year ago. It wasn't not nearly as good as this one. This one is gorgeous. I love it. And it looks great. So, yeah, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Um, again, very sorry that I didn't have a video out last week. Um, I will probably get another one out this week to compensate for the lack of videos last week. But... Yeah, so I really do appreciate you guys um, getting up here. I'm, I'm almost at uh, 30 subscribers now. It's crazy. And, um, yeah, so thank you for all your support. Uh, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you have something to say. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And I will see you in another video, yo bros. So, dudes, this is what a trench coat actually looks like for Lego before you put it on the figure and it ends up looking like this. See, it goes all the way around. But this is what the actual thing looks like.